What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Nate and I am so excited. It is Saturday night! When my kids were little, we used to have what we called Saturday night snack and a movie. Every Saturday night, all week long, we looked forward to it. And when Saturday got here, we spent the entire day preparing. We come up with an awesome snack, we go out and get t-shirts, and we would get like iron-ons and make t-shirts that were relevant to the movie we were gonna watch. We'd hit the video rental stores like Blockbuster, Video Safari, Video Time, Family Video. Just run around all over the place looking for the perfect movie. Sometimes we come home with a whole stack of them. Get back to the house and unload all these bags with snacks and candy and stuff we were gonna make, all the movies, our shirts, and then we'd spend the whole day getting ready. After the snacks were all prepared and our t-shirts were made, we'd get our pajamas on, bring all our blankets and pillows and everything down to the living room. We'd set it all up and make our own little nests all around the living room, put the movie in, and just have an awesome movie night for hours on end till we all fell asleep right there in the living room. Guys, I have wanted to do a video series like this for such a long time, and I finally decided to do it at the prompting of a few people asking me why I wasn't cooking anymore and doing things that I used to do. So now I invite you along to join me for Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Everything you will see in these shows you can do for yourself, and I'm going to be posting these early enough in the evening where you can watch it, get the ideas, and then run out and get the stuff for yourself. I hope you guys enjoy this. I have an awesome movie picked out for tonight, a delicious snack that you can make right at home, and we're also going to make a t-shirt. So let's hit the road. We're going to go out and get all this stuff and then come right back here with this delicious snack together. Make some popcorn, a comfy nest on the couch, and then we're going to watch a movie. All right, guys, we're going to go to Walmart for our t-shirts and our food. Just because I know that everybody has a Walmart in their area or very close. So if you want to do this same thing after you watch this show, you know where to go to get the stuff. As far as the movies go, tonight I'm looking for something specific, so I'm probably going to have to bounce around to a few places, Family Video, Redbox, maybe even a place up here, uh, I think it's called the Record Exchange. Let's go back here to the craft section and look at what kind of lettering they have for t-shirts, because the color of the lettering is going to kind of determine what color t-shirt we can get. Okay, so here's the aisle with all the t-shirt stuff. Now, this is all paints. Here's some t-shirts down here. Gildan. It's actually a pretty good brand. Ooh, we got some tie-dye stuff over here, which we will actually do one of these nights, too, because I love a good tie-dye. <laughs> but up here is our selection when it comes to the letters, and it doesn't look like they have a real big selection. A lot of times I go to the craft stores when I'm going to do something like this because this is like the typical shape of the letters that you're going to get here at Walmart. And if you want to get crafty, you can use stencils, but we're not going to do that tonight. I just want letters, black or white, and actually we're going to grab both because I don't know what color shirt we can get yet. That's what it'll be kind of like on the shirt. I'm going to grab two packs of each, the black and the white. That way it leaves my option for a color of shirt open. So we get over here and decide. I'm getting excited. I didn't see any over there at the moment, but you can also get iron-on things where you like print them off your computer if you want a specific picture. So here's our shirts. They usually have a whole bunch of different colors. In the summer they have more because these are all uh, short sleeve. I think I just want a white t-shirt. Of course I don't have my size. That's exactly why we grabbed both color of uh, letters. And they don't have my size in black either. <laughs> However, ah, yes, they do have it in red. So I think we'll stick with the black letters then for that. Okay, I don't think they have the movie here that I'm looking for. But, oh, 
Look at this. Heck yeah. I'd love to grab that right now. Harry Potter 8 film Blu-ray pack. 55 bucks, not too shabby. Oh, heck yeah. Look at this. Nightmare on Elm Street. Eight discs. That would be sweet, too. <laughs> Oh, look at this, guys. The complete collection of Dukes of Hazard. That thing is heavy. I have, like, the complete second season, but that's all. That is cool. <laughs> if they had the first SpongeBob movie, I would be buying it right now. Oh, look. Goosebumps. This actually wasn't that great of a movie, but it was fun. I didn't think they had it, so let's move on. Let's get our groceries. And uh, then we'll go rent a movie from maybe uh, Family Video or something. Okay, let's see. We're going to need a little bit of this. A big bag of this. Definitely going to need some of these. Now we got to backtrack a little bit and get some of this. And a little bit of this. Maybe we'll go down this aisle and get a little bit of this. Oh wait, there's one more thing we need to get over here. Yep, definitely a little of that. And a little of this. And we need one more thing that I'm honestly not sure if they have or not. Yes. Four bucks! Oh my god, that's such an idiot. All right, guys, I think we got everything we need in here. Let's get out and get our movie, and then get home and get cooking. There's a red box right over there, but I know they don't have what I'm looking for. So we are gonna motivate right on out to family video. All right, guys, it is getting dark, and I am getting excited. Movie night is about to begin! Okay, yes, we are at family video. You guys, Tell me, do any of you still have uh, video rental stores in your area? We have a bunch of these. Um, well, not a bunch. They're, they're slow, slowly going away, family video. But most of we have just like the red box. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think I have like three of these family video stores um, in my area. You know, about a 10-minute drive to each of them something like that family video yes I love this place guys look this is one of the few that does not have a Marco's pizza connected to it okay if we're gonna find it this is probably where right here <laughs> under the free kids movies let's see what we're looking for is called Dennis the Menace. And I do not see it in this area here. Although, I do see Kaladi with a Chance of Meatballs too. I don't know if I've seen part two, I've seen part one. I love part one. We'll save that for another night. Speaking of, here it is right here. <laughs> I never realized that Flint Lockwood is voiced by Bill Hader. I love this movie even more now. Okay, I've never seen this one, Ponyo. And it, uh, well, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's about fish, but I've always thought that it looked exactly like the Finding Nemo title. Strange, and he does sort of look like a turtle. It is about a boy who rescues a stranded goldfish named Ponyo. I don't even know if that's how you say it right, but... Man, I so miss coming out and renting movies. I'm just as guilty as anybody else of renting them online anymore. But it's always so fun to go to the video stores, especially when it was VHS. Um, it was always fun because so many movies, like, they just went straight to VHS and you would have to literally pick it up and read the back of the box to figure out what it was about. And just the front is all you had to go on to uh, to base that first impression on. Oh my god, since I have granddaughters, I saw this and I caught myself go, Oh cool! <laughs> the bubble guppies! This abominable, I wonder how this is. I mean, it looks like something I would absolutely love. 
We'll save that for another night too. I have not seen Us, but I did watch Double Tap just the other night. I love the first Zombieland. And this one was still pretty good, but there was a few issues I had with it, and I'm not gonna give it up just in case anybody watching has not seen it yet, but it was good. I just had some issues. Joker. I saw that one the other night too. Look at this place. I just love a video rental store. It just, it begs the question, why am I not in here more often? All these hundreds, if thousands of videos just waiting to be enjoyed with a bowl of popcorn. What in the world? I don't even think I've ever even heard of this. Siberia. Keanu Reeves movie I've never heard of. I'm gonna have to try that one. I know what's missing in here. I don't smell popcorn. Usually they have the smell of fresh popped popcorn going in here. All right, let's find this thing. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm looking. I'm just kind of wandering. Ooh, this was a good one. It's not a Saturday night movie, but it's definitely a good movie about the founder of McDonald's. And this one I have not seen either, but I watched the actual uh, proceedings for this. These uh, three teenagers got blamed for three little boys that got killed. And, uh, yeah, they were called the West Memphis Three. And this movie was made about that. There's actually a uh, documentary series called Paradise Lost about this. It's really interesting, but if you ever watch it, be warned. I keep forgetting what I'm looking for. <laughs> Dennis the Menace. And it is not in this area, at least. Yeah, I, I actually rented this from the Red Box the other night. And my uh, Blu-ray player would not play it, so I ended up watching it online. Ooh-wee! It Chapter 2. I've not seen it yet. I want to. I saw part of Gemini Man, probably about half of it. Good concept, and I like Will Smith, but he needs to stick to comedy. Um, he's good in some dramas, too. I loved him in Hitch, which was... Uh, romantic comedy, I guess, but any movie like this you can see his face right there Where he like purses his lips like if you see him go in a movie, you know, it's gonna suck <laughs> That's like his serious look and I just to me he can't carry that Even Independence Day the only reason I like it is because it's such a fun movie But uh, but I don't think he does a very good job in that movie Here's the Scream movies. Those are definitely Saturday night movies. I mean, not if you have little kids. <laughs> but those are some of my favorites right there. Yes! Temple of Doom, one of my favorites. You cheat, Dr. Jones, you cheat! Jeremiah Johnson, yes! I love this movie. Okay, family fun, so I think we're getting closer. There's the A's. Let's see, A, B, C, D, Den oh, there it is, oh my god, Dennis the Menace, guys, right here, I love it so, so much. Hey, Mr. Wilson! Firewood bombs away! Cool! Do you want me to come and help you get out of the tub? Not unless you want to see what the stork's on! When my kids were little, the very first movie we ever watched for a Saturday night snack and a movie was Dennis the Menace, so that's why we're watching it tonight. And there it is. Walter Matthau. God, I love this movie. There's Wally's favorite. I'm so glad we found this. Let's just go look at the uh, the game room quick here while we're waiting because there's some other people in line. I don't play video games, at least not, you know, the new kinds. But I remember bringing my kids into family video all the time and letting them rent these games. I'm more of a Atari 2600 guy. Space Invaders all day long. Ooh, look at this. Rent three and get one free. And I have not yet seen Child's Play, but Brightburn was awesome. Oh, I loved this one. I think they're going to have a sequel, too. At least that's kind of how it was set up at the end. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen yet. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. That one's not even in, but... 
I'll have to get caught up one of these times. All right, guys, we got it. I'm excited. I'm gonna go home, make our delicious, delicious snack, make our uh, our T-shirt, put some jammies on, and kick back and have an awesome movie night. Thank you, family video. <laughs> okay, guys, so we are back in the kitchen here and we are ready to roll. What we have here, we're gonna make our t-shirts first. So I got the shirt that I picked up at Walmart. I gotta get the stickers off here. I got my red pajama pants because those are going on as soon as this red shirt is done. We've got the letters. We got a towel. I'm gonna lay that out on my table here just to give it a little uh, softer surface. Then I got scissors to cut the letters out. And I grabbed a piece of paper and some tape just in case. I have parchment paper, which you don't have to have, but I kind of like to put it down over top before I put my um, my iron on. Let's move all that and put our towel out. Cover the surface we're gonna be working on. Get our shirt out here. Now, I actually have a t-shirt press that would do this for me. I can just lay it on there, put my letters on, and smash it down. But I know that not everybody has one, so that's why we're just gonna use the regular iron here. Because I want you guys to be able to turn around and do this kind of stuff right at home. So we got that prepared. We're going to get our letters here. And I bought two packs because there's only a certain amount of letters that come with these things. You know, you've only got three A's, one B, one C, one D, two E's. And it continues like that. So if you need two B's, you're out of luck unless you buy two packs. But they're only four bucks a pack. So, And I think we are just going to spell... If we have enough letters, it's Saturday night. So we'll just start cutting out the letters here and spelling it out. Okay, so we got all the words on there. It's Saturday night. We even had a little exclamation point to put on there. And we did end up using uh, both packs, or opening both packs, because I needed one more T. It only comes with two T's and I needed one more, so we had to open that second pack. So now I'm just gonna get this set up. It takes a little bit to kind of organize the letters in the way you want them, and then we're just gonna iron them on. In fact, I think I am just gonna kind of wing it here. Not even gonna worry about them being too straight, just for the fun of it. Now, if anybody makes one of these t-shirts, or even if you have a movie night just for the heck of it after watching this, come over to the Facebook page. It's called That Nate Guys and Gals. I'll put a link below. And uh, just come on there and make a post. Post your pictures and tell us all about your movie night. Especially if you make a t-shirt. Take pictures in your t-shirts. <laughs> guys the shirt for the night gonna go put this on over right back all right and we are ready to cook okay so tonight we are gonna be making meat lovers pizza but we're gonna make it on a smokeless grill we're gonna use the griddle part to even make our crust now you don't have to do it this way but I can guarantee you it is delicious I'm on a low carb diet, so I have to make my crust a little different. We got Parmesan cheese, shredded mozzarella, and eggs. And that's all we're gonna use for the crust. Now, like I said, it is delicious and it's really simple. I'm not even gonna measure this. <laughs> I've made it so many times, it's just a habit now. 
I'm gonna take a nice handful of the mozzarella cheese, flop it in my bowl there, grated Parmesan. Just gonna pour a little chunk in there. And I will put the recipe for this down below in case you guys wanna make it the same way. You can actually make your own dough, like if you use either Martha White or Jiffy, or even like Chef Boyardee, or if you even make your own dough at home, you can make it and still cook it the same way on this grill that I'm gonna show you when I do it this way. I just do it this way to keep the carbs down. And you're gonna use one egg. Just mix it all up in there. And that creates what is going to be your dough. Now it doesn't feel like dough if you do it this way. It feels like a ball of mush, but it's gonna taste delicious. We're gonna pull out a couple sheets of parchment paper. And this is simply just to form the dough in like a rectangle. So you're basically just gonna smash it down Put the other piece on top to make it easy. You can even use a rolling pin. Now you can make it whatever size is your cooktop. This is the size of my griddle right here. So I have to make it fit on there, obviously. So I'm just gonna press it down on there, give it a little bit of an impression. And I can fold that over. Just get your edges nice and square. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Pat that right in. Now here's one more trick when you're doing this on a griddle. You're gonna be using a spatula to flip this. So obviously that's a lot bigger than the spatula. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it into four smaller pieces without even moving it there. Now we have four pieces that are much easier to flip. So for the moment, let's set this aside. See what else we got in our bag of goodies here. Bacon, sausage, pepperoni, and I love these little pepperoni minis. They're supposed to be used for salads, but I like the way they cook up. Then we got the Rouse homemade pizza sauce, and then we've got thin sliced provolone cheese. We'll put those slices on top of the pizza. But for now, let's set up our grill. And like I said, if you don't have one of these, you can do this on, a, on the stove top in a pan, in, you know, in any kind of a skillet, or if you have another kind of griddle, you can use that as well. This is just what I have, and I love this thing. Turn that up a little bit. We're gonna let it heat up, and then we're gonna cook all our meat on here to start with, and then we're gonna come back around and put our crust on. Now there's a couple of reasons why I do it this way. I cook the meat first, obviously, because some of it has to be cooked, the bacon, the sausage, but I put the pepperonis on there just to heat them up. And these small ones will get nice and crispy. That way all the toppings are cooked and hot and ready to roll when we put them on top of the crust. Because when we're cooking the crust on here, we don't want it to stay on there too long. I'm gonna soak up most of that grease in there because there's just an excess of it that we don't need. Kind of tricky. We got them on there, now we just let them cook for a few minutes here. Meanwhile, we can break up our bacon in our bowl of meat. Mmm, it's gonna be so good. I mean, you can really put on this whatever you want. I thought about putting some onions in there too, but that's just more work and this is taking long enough as it is. Okay, it's about time to flip these. Yeah. 
Yes, <laughs> that looks good. And you see how much easier it was to flip four smaller pieces than one giant one. Now while that's cooking, you can go ahead and get your sauce. Put a spoonful on each one. Spread it around. Start putting your toppings on. While that cooks, let's go get our movie in. All right, yes, that is done. Look at that, guys. That is a delicious piece of pizza right there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm going in to watch the movie. Make sure you subscribe and come back every Saturday for another Saturday night snack and a movie. I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.